Hello and welcome to Wing In It. So once more, we are back with another game from the Wingspan Open. This is our round three matchup against Yord the Sword. And yeah, if you haven't seen uh, the existing parts from this series, I would definitely recommend you check them out. Uh, there's been some good games, there's been some pretty terrible games, uh, but they're hopefully all entertaining nonetheless for one reason or another. So um, yeah, just to catch you up, if you have not seen those previous parts, we are 2-1 up in this best of five series, so the task is simple, win, and we go through. So that is going to be the goal here, of course. And yeah, as uh, as is the setup in this tournament, we alternate starting order. So um, Yord is going first this game, as he did in game two. Um, so definitely not going to have it super straightforward here, um, although you do, I think, like to see a trade like that. Uh, when you're going second so um yeah hopefully we'll get a good starting hand here and uh, we can get off to a good start of our own all right here we go yord has picked his starting hand let's take a look at what we've been given ourselves well 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 um okay <laughs> benelli's eagle's always a always an interesting one to see in the starting hand um but we've got classic forest engine opening which i do like uh, so that's kind of tempting. Um, no wetland bird is kind of off-putting. Um, yeah, that's kind of a struggle when you have Benelli especially. You know, you need those extra cards to actually use that power um, when it comes around to playing it. Uh, but yeah, Polite work back. I mean, we had that come up in game three at a very fortuitous time. But I think it's going to be good here with a snatch, so... We do at least have two birds in the tray that can go in the wetlands. Let's take a look at the feeder. How's that looking? Okay, a couple of rodents, a couple of seeds. Not too shabby. Um, so, there are some options. There are some options. I think both of those definitely good with the large bird as well. You know, we got the Pleat Woodpecker, later we play Benelli. So those are two good ones. Um, to hit large birds. Definitely, definitely prefer that to Citizen Scientist. Um, but I think either of those two in the tray work uh, with this kind of setup. So... Sandal Crane, um, you know, if I'm getting extra seeds, and especially on this nut hatch, I can still spend those from the nut hatch. I think a lot of people don't know this. Um, you know, discarding is the same as spending. So um, if I'm going to use that Sandal Crane power, discard a seed, well, I can I can discard it from the nut hatch. And so I lose one cash food, but I get two tucks. So still worthwhile doing quite a nice little combo. Um, but yeah, of course, Program Falcon, essentially going to help that first end of our goal. And maybe still get some points as well with its own hunting power. So um, I'll probably grab one of those. I mean, to be honest, let's have a look at what Yord has kept. Okay, one bird and four food again. So uh, maybe maybe not such a great start again. But normally something like Sandal Crane, you don't see it grabbed so frequently from the starting tray. Um, Peregrine Falcon, maybe... He might be tempted. He's kept a rodent. There are more in the feeder. He might grab that, play that, and use that as the wetland bird. Like I say, hits the end of our goal. So um, I think we'll go with this opening. Um, I think we can play the woodpecker, and then within a couple of turns, get the food for the Eurasian nut hatch, play that. Um, and then, you know, we've got a couple of eggs and a cache and a couple of food in the forest. Like I say, we can look to get the, the sandal crane down or the falcon, whichever one we can go for. And then we start digging. Um, actually having that single wetland bird will allow us, of course, to discard some of these eggs. And the egg space on these two birds is not great. So we can dig a bit, use up those eggs, free up some space, hopefully find some more cavity nesting birds, of course. Stuff to go in the forest would be great. I mean, you look at these end of round goals, apart from that first one. Food and supply, that's great for a forest engine. Birds in forest, I'm already trying to do that. Uh, total birds, normally, when you get a lot of food, you're going to use those to play birds, so... This feels very forest engine -y, so good to have this kind of start. So we are going to go for this. Of course, keep Benelli, even though we don't have a, a wetland bird or any sort of card draw in sight. Uh, but it's going to be good. And hopefully, yeah, we just do a little bit of digging, look for some wetland birds, because um, the forest, I think here, is pretty well set with the woodpecker and the nut hatch. All right, here we go. On to our first turn. It's a chimney swift, so migratory bird. I'm very interested he played that straight up and didn't get the worm first so that he didn't have to overpay and maybe save a bit of food on that. But that star nest is going to be good uh, with the pleated woodpecker. So um, 
Yeah, I'm kind of tempted. I mean, <laughs> if I play the Polita Woodpecker, he's going to lay eggs and then miss out on an egg because he's going to be full. Um, so, like, is he going to... Is he going to draw a card first? I'm, I, I do want one of those birds in the tray, but... Um, I might be able to... I don't know. I think he's going to... I think he's going to be quite full on eggs anyway. Um, but I can definitely... I could definitely take advantage of that. And like I said, I think I'd rather get the food that's in the bird feeder first, um, at the very least, um, so I can look at getting this uh, forest set up because um, that's going to be key because both of these birds need food, Sandal Crane in particular. Uh, but yeah, I need I need to get the forest set up um, and then I can start Yeah, using that food, as I say, to play birds and hopefully, um, yeah, if it is going to be that Sandal Crane, I can use that and uh, get some tucks. So he's laid eggs. He's full. Ha ha ha. We are going to. Uh, we'll take a. We'll take a worm. We'll take a worm because I think he's going to draw cards now, so we can then take a seed next time. We'll be good. So um, we only get one because we have got one nest, uh, one cavity nest, but that's fine. As I say, now it's just going to go down pretty quickly, uh, which is going to be very nice. So yeah, probably uh, he'll probably take the falcon, if any. He might just go top deck. He might just do what he did last last game and just gamble off the deck, see what he can find. Uh, he has taken the falcon. And we've now got the pelican as well, so we've got two pretty decent birds that fit with this kind of forest engine. Maybe I want to be going with, but we'll take um, we'll take the seed while it's there, because I don't want him to take that. And then I'll think about the birds in the tray. Then I'll think about whether the crane or the pelican um, are going to be good for me. Because, yeah, I think I am going to have extra food, for sure. I'm more likely to have those extra seeds, which is kind of steering me a bit more maybe towards that sandal crane. But um, he's going for food. He's probably going to go for food again. I think he... Oh, no, he'll play play the falcon. Um, play the falcon. And then go for food. So I'm going to play the nuthatch now. And then if he does play the falcon, he's again not going to have egg space, so we can we can double benefit here. We can get two eggs, and he's going to get none, uh, which is very nice. Yeah, he's going to look good for the center round goal. I'm kind of okay with that. As I said, we're going to be in a, a pretty good position, I think, for um, the remaining end of round goal. So um, it's all going to be about finding birds. And hopefully we can get some good in the tray in round two. So, yeah, he's full on eggs. Uh, let's hopefully get some seeds. Plenty of seeds. Obviously, Nuthatch could get one as well. So, I think... Um, I think we can... Oh, he's going to go for food again, isn't he? And move that. So, he's still not going to have space if I go for food again here. I might go for food. I'm going to take those two seeds. I think pick up and play the Sandal Crane. And then draw cards. Um, I think that's going to be my play. Because like I said at the start, um, I'm going to have loads of eggs on these two birds and not really the space to, to manage them. Um, so yeah, discarding. Okay, yeah, I did, I did think he was going to do that. Kind of anticipating maybe that um, it's basically a free bird because he'd miss out on the egg anyway. So, um, Well, in that case, I think he is going to go... Is he going to go for food next? Well, he's good. He needs need to lay eggs at some point, right? I'll take the seeds while they're there. And if he takes that sand sandal crane, all the power to him. Uh, it's not a very good bird for him in this situation. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we can we can still pick it up and play it. Um, and then yeah, we're going to be ready. We're going to be ready to draw cards going into the next round, which is the, the important thing. But yeah, what am I looking for? What am I looking for going into round two? I think just card draw. Card draw, cavity space, those are the important things. I don't need any grass and birds. Because um, we're going pretty clearly with the with the forest set over. So he's drawing cards again, which makes sense. Um, he needs to do a bit of digging. But yeah, we'll take the Sandal Crane. Hopefully nothing good is going to come up. I mean, I wouldn't mind that Clark Snuckeracker, but... Um, I'm not so attached to it that I'm going to pick it up straight away. So I think we can stick to the plan 
Please, Sand will create. And then see see what that round two trait is going to give us, because um, hopefully it's going to be good. Looks like he's going food. That makes sense. Move the swift down. Yep. You already win the end of round goal, so we'll get you down there. Sand will crane. And yeah, as I said, lose the end of round, but um, so be it. So be it. What have we got to look at? We've got a barred owl. I will take that barred owl. Very nice forest bird. Um, don't mind that. Squacker Heron as well. <laughs> I think I had that in game... One of the games in this series. I cannot remember which one. Um, but it's actually, uh, you know, it's it's not great, but if it's something in the wetlands, it, it hits the bonus card. Um, I can make that work, so... Yeah, I think I think I go for food here. Play the owl. Go for food again. Play the heron. And then maybe draw cards. I think that sounds like a good plan. Um, okay, casting Finch. So still not really resource generators going on. He's just going for points. Which is fair enough. We'll take the two cherries. Because we might want to grab fish. And worm next time. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll get those eggs. I don't mind giving him the egg while he's got space, because I think his space is going to run out pretty quickly with just those two spots, and obviously um, he, he's not in a position where drawing cards... You know, you can't discard the egg when you've got two birds, so you know, if he gets a third wetland bird, he can start discarding, but for now, it's not really an option, so... Um, he's kind of stuck a little bit with what he's got yeah, I think we've I think we've got enough to busy ourselves with. Okay, he's drawing cards. What was it? Oh, it's a chaffinch. Okay, so he's going air sando. <laughs> he's going air sando here. Uh, we'll take an egg off a cavity space, which is nice. Um, I wonder. Yeah, he's going to go for food. Or is he going to play? No, he's not got any food. But he's going to go for food here. Um, which is a bit annoying. Because I want that fish and worm. Uh, but we might still be able to grab something that gets us partway uh, towards playing this harem. But yeah, food and supply, I think. I think I'll have enough turns here. Okay, it's still a worm. Which might help. Yeah, food and supply. Hmm. I suppose he could. He could just take food. And take lots of it. Um, I might, I might start if I'm using the crane. I might start using the caches on the nut hatch because that doesn't count as food in your supply. That's food cached on birds. So uh, I'm on zero, even though I do have that plus three uh, from the seeds. So yeah, if it saves a little bit of extra food, that to be honest, I'm probably going to spend later anyway, um, and helps to send around goal. Then that might be. I think round, yeah, the first turn of this round, I think I did take it from supply, so that might have been a bit of an oversight, but yeah. I think as long as we take foods, I think we can take foods at least twice, maybe three times there, it'd be okay, so. Um, we'll take two worms, I guess, yeah. Very nice. We get cash, and we get two eggs, and he's going to get none. Haha. <laughs> Um, why is it why is it bugging out? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Very nice. <clears throat> so yeah, maybe I might draw cards. Because like I'm not, not massively attached to this heron. I think I can't afford to draw cards here. And then and then we'll look at taking food. And we can always discard. Uh, we can always discard some of those cards for extra food if it helps the end of round so fish crow well he's found fish crow again and he's blocked in the swift so swift sorry you're stuck there um damn that was a painful one for the swift but um yeah we'll, we'll take cards we'll take cards here come on buzzard golden eagle fantastic um okay and there's two rents in the feeder as well so yeah we'll do we'll do yeah Get rid of the cash because it's a point. As I said, lose a cash, get two tucks. So it's still a one point activation. Um, I think I'll probably put Eagle in the wetlands. It's another large bird, which is very nice. 
But yeah, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Um, I think I think I might take food twice here. I might have to skip. Um, I might have to skip the... Uh, Pleated Woodpecker the second time. Uh, we'll take a seed. Do we take a uh, fish? Do we want to play the Squawker Heron? Not massively attached to it. I, I, I was going to discard it next turn anyway, so... Um, we'll do the Woodpecker this turn. And then, yeah. I think... Hmm. I think I might take cards again. Spot Sandpiper, well, I don't mind that. Okay, so he's got... He's got no foods. He can get two food here or one food here. So he's only going to end up on two. See, I can't check the eagle down. Although, I don't know. Eagle. I could play the eagle and use two nuthatch caches. Um, and I still have three food in supply. I, I'm going to draw cards. I'm going to draw cards. We could play the eagle later. Um, and now we can use one from supply. Yeah, not 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 amazing card draw, but I mean, this is where Benelli is is so powerful because I can just spend turns drawing, and it's like it doesn't even really matter if I get good cards or not. I mean, it does. I want um, I want good cards to play, but having some bad cards, uh, it's not the end of the world. So we do win the end of the round, and we go into the third round. So yeah, I'm wondering how much he'll use that sandpiper. Okay, he took the coop. Took the coop. So hopefully, is he going to give us a, a card here? He is. What is it going to be? It's going to be a barn owl. I actually don't mind that. That is a lot. That is a lot of uh, cavity nest space. And it hits my bonus card. And it can go in the forest. So let's do that. Um, that is am that's amazing. Never been so happy to see a barn owl before. So um, yeah, we'll play that up here. Um, and then we can probably just get food. Get food a few times. Play, uh, play this golden eagle. And then think about drawing cards, but we might not even need to. We might not even need to draw cards yet this round. We could probably put it off, draw cards with the fresh trade next round. And otherwise, just get food, which is going to get a lot of points, and play Benelli later in the game. So, yeah, you're definitely definitely struggling here. Um, only two, two points and one food here, um, which is, yeah, not, not great with this generation. So... Hmm, not getting, not getting rodents. At least we're getting some hunts. It's better than nothing. But yeah, this could be, this could end up being a very expensive golden eagle. <laughs> this could end up costing like six food or something. Um, but I've got loads of food. I've got food to spare, so I'm not really, not really fussed about overspending a little bit. So there goes the coot. Very nice. We're going to take food again. There we go. There's all the rodents. Um, still getting just a barred owl. So barred, better than barn. Um, make of that what you will. But yeah, I think... Play the eagle. I could draw cards, because like that common loon... Actually, it's not going to help with the bonus card. But it's still points. And even that Stellar's J might get points as well. Those are not bad birds to be to be picking up. Um, but I think Yord is going to keep drawing cards. So if he keeps drawing cards and keeps using the Sandpiper and giving me three cards, um, I don't mind it. But yeah, this this forest I've got is so nice. A couple of hunting powers that are so-so, but then the cash and then the two eggs from the Polite Woodpecker. Um, just really, really powerful. So he's going to use the Sandpiper. And he's going to give us another hunting power in the Cooper's Hawk. Um... Kind of feels a bit overkill to play that, uh, if I'm completely honest. 
I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do what I was gonna do, which is play uh, this golden eagle. So we'll get that down. We'll clear out cavity space. <laughs> and yeah, you know, drawing cards. Sometimes you don't want to draw cards in the last round, but here, you know, I get I get two points from the sandal crane, and I might get a third of that golden eagle. So it's still three points. It's still a good activation to be having. Um, and you know, if I can pick up a big point bird to play with all this extra food, um, then I'm all for it. But yeah, total birds. Neither of us have got that many birds down um, for that last end of round. So I might want to get a few more down. Like I say, that combo loon, it's it's not bad. It's still, after eggs, it's still five points for two foods. So uh, if you don't mind it, Nutcracker. Oh man, I would have preferred the, the, the wild turkey rather than have that be the golden eagle's attempted dinner. But Nutcracker, could that work? Ah, <laughs> oh, if there were more seeds in the bird feeder, I'd feel a lot more, feel a lot more inspired to go for it. But you know, that could be, even if I only get like two seeds a turn, that could be worth doing. Play Nutcracker, just draw foods four times there's a chaffinch so he has got lots of extra cards um yeah play 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 nutcracker i don't know i think i'll take food now because i'm not gonna have I, I, there might be something in the tray right there might be something in the tray next round to, to take and i have got other good birds to play so we'll take food um we'll take the seed bar now still failing bard pal still succeeding Yeah, this is definitely a nice forest. Um, and yeah, no seeds in the feeder, so I'm not feeling great about that cracker. But I think Common Loon, I think Benelli's Eagle, those are going to be good plays. Okay, Red Legged Partridge. <laughs> Do we still have time to, to Partridge about what? It's not really, I don't really have the egg space for that. Um, unfortunately. Okay, I think. I think this Common Loon. I think that's still worth playing. Five points, so we'll get that down. Uh, we'll clear out uh, X base. <laughs> and yeah, total birds. Can we can we compete for that? I think we can get two more down. I think Yord might just want to lay eggs a bunch. I don't think he's going to necessarily generate enough food to play two more birds. So it might be. It might still be Nutcracker. I could force Nutcracker. Start discarding. I can discard cards once for an extra food. Uh, but it's the best forest option I have. And then, of course, Benelli. Benelli can go down later. Guess they are laying eggs, they're doing some tucking. Um, hopefully, they'll run out of egg space. But yeah, we'll play Nutcracker. We'll use the wrong food on purpose so we can keep a seed and cash it. Uh, but this also has the benefit of, of making some space, so... I think even if we only get, like... I think even only, like, two or three caches from that Nutcracker, I think that's still worth playing. I think that's still worth playing, so hopefully... We're only going to get one. Um, hopefully... On the reroll, it's seeds galore. Uh, we can just grab them all, cache them all, uh, and be very, very pleased with ourselves. Yeah, Yord. Just lay eggs a bunch. He's still gaining food. I suppose that egg space is a problem. So he probably has one final play. One final play. Uh, with, the, with the eggs, so. Oh, he's drawn birds. He's drawn birds. I did not expect that. Well, that gives us an extra card to chuck. And hopefully, come on, some seeds. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. Um, there's the three that we wanted. Any more as a bonus? Uh, I don't want to cash the ones that are already cashed. Come on! Barn Owl, you suck. Bard Owl, you're taking notes of someone who also sucks. But that was still a good turn. That was still f six points, because we've got three Nutcracker caches. We've got a Nuthatch cache and two eggs. So Don't mind it. But yeah, drawing cards. I suppose they got a Tuck and a maybe a Falcon Tuck, but... 
Maybe they are just going to expand. But I think this end of round is looking good for us. We're going to save Benelli. We're going to we're going to make this as painful as possible for Yord because we are a horrible person. Save this Benelli that we've had from our starting hand. Oh, he's got the slipper illegal. Okay, now I feel less bad. <laughs> now I feel much less bad. Uh, we're going to proceed as planned. Hopefully, lots of seeds here. I'll take one. I'll take one. Don't mind that. Uh, everyone can get caches except you, Barn Owl, because you've been annoying. Um, yeah, we want to skip. Come on. There we go. Finally. But Barn Owl misses. So be it. Um, there we go. Two more eggs from the Polita Woodpecker. And we've got the perfect number of cards left to tuck under Benelli. So this is going to be a big score. Um, this could be this could be into the 110s, I think, with the end of round. Um, which I'm very happy with with a forest engine like this. I'm very happy with this. I've definitely not had the great card draw, but I think the Sandpipe has helped a little bit. Um, but just having birds like the Crane, I mean, that eagle that never actually got any tucks. Um, but yeah, hitting, the, hitting large birds. I mean, I hate this bonus card. Large bird special is one of my least favorite in the game. So to actually hit it, um, and not only hit it, but max it out, I'm very happy with that. So we'll get Manelli down. Sorry, Yord. Uh, I know you're not going to be happy to see that, but we're even because you had the Eastern Imperial. So uh, neither of us can, can complain about that. Be a two seeds. Is he going to play? Gonna play his favorite course cannot hatch again? Yes, we well, played something. <laughs> so we do tie the end of round goal. And we go into the scores. So, um, yeah, I do feel a lot more confident about winning this one than I did the last couple of games, at least. Um, I think it just was a bit of a struggle. Clearly a slow start for Yord. Um, and then, you know, the fish crow was nice. Chaffinch for the late game, but uh, I think just really kind of struggled to get anything going. So it's looking pretty close here, but we know this food on cards is going to come up. And we do have a good number of tuck cards as well at the end. And it is a comfortable win. 110 to 87 in the end. So let's take a look at his bonus cast behaviorist. Ouch. And wildlife gardener. So that makes sense for the Hawfinch. Man, a crappy bonus card to go with a crappy starting hand. I do feel for you. That's a, that's a painful one. But yeah, like I say, very happy with how that game went from our perspective. And that Nutcracker. How many caches was that at the end? Is that like five? Five caches? So I'll take it. It meant I could use those extra cards that I had left over, get some points out of those. And yeah, Benelli at the end, always. Always nice to be able to play that, so. And there we go. We are through. We had a bit of a scare in game one. Uh, but we came back with a bounce back victory, 3-1. And we're into the next round, so very happy with that. And yet again, we have another very exciting opponent waiting for us. Uh, in round four, I think it is now, so we're getting closer and closer towards the business end of this tournament. Um, so yeah, do stay tuned for that. Um, if you want to subscribe, you'll get notified and you can stay up to date with these videos as they come out. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching and yeah, I'll see you next time.